with uh, none other than Dave Spitz, my good friend, good bass as well, as you know all that. This is my bass from Black Sabbath. No need no introduction. Dave, he wants to talk to you about the new project you got going on with Dave Lynch. Yeah, 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 some other people that he will tell you about. Tell people, Dave, about what's going on. Well, this is a brand new band. It's kind of a super group uh, that, that uh, Patrick Johansson and I put together. Uh, Patrick and I have been close friends for many years, and we played in a couple of different uh, band projects together before, Prophets of Doom and uh, a couple other ones. Talking about like 10, 15 years, right? Yeah, yeah. We go back about 15, 17 years, Patrick and I. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest drummers in the world. Uh, he's from Sweden. Played with Ingve for about 12 or 14 years. Gotcha. Uh, played in Wasp, played in Pelletieri, Kinlan. Uh, I believe he's played on over 120 something albums. The strong so, choir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's played with a lot of people. He's a sought after guy. Anyway, um, we had a previous band and, and that kind of ended, and we want to find some, some new people and, uh, and actually infuse our talent, mine and Patrick's talents, in with some other, you know, kind of famous, semi famous. Of musicians that I wouldn't you know, call them like say my, you know, the guys yeah, are famous, famous, famous uh, musicians, some, somewhat, somewhat famous, yeah, <laughs> people well, well known and well respected, well respected know, around the world, musicians that are known from uh, other bands and albums that they play with. So we we made a point to uh, seek out you know the right people, and uh, you finally did. Yeah, with God's blessing, we found Dave Linsk. Um, guitarist, we've been in Overkill a pretty Overkill. long time. Speed Kill Hate, Sebastian Bach, and you know, uh, played on a lot of records. I'm, I'm telling you, for me, Dave Lynch is one of the greatest guitar players on this planet. And you can see it for yourselves, actually, if you go to YouTube, all these uh, videos that they uploaded before. They have recently played at the Magic Casino right yeah. here in Miami. So we, are, I'm gonna post all those links. You guys can go on and see all the videos. Right, it was a show we did for the uh, pre-party for the the big monsters of rock cruise, which is, I believe, the biggest you know of all the different rock cruises. The biggest event ever. Yeah, and we played. They they invited us to play uh, a pre-party show. There were several thousand people there, and we were we were a smash hit. We were a big success at that. And it's a pretty new band. We're just starting to do some live shows, and uh, there's like six or seven videos uh, of that show up on YouTube right now. You can you just put it. We didn't tell them the name of the band. Exactly. What's the name of the band? The name of the band so. is United Metal Coalition. So it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it was it was named well, don't before even that. Me. I wouldn't mention that because the name is old. Yeah, I don't even say the other names. Because we, <laughs> we've been trying to come up with a, a killer name for like six, seven months, but that's too long of a story. And this one did it. Right, so this okay. one we all agreed on. Uh, it's a long name, but it's memorable. And uh, I think people will dig it. And uh, we've got some great artwork, great logo, backdrop, you know, stage yeah. props and everything with United Metal Coalition. Yeah. Also, you can, for short, you could just say UMC once people get to hear about it. Exactly. And we're it's very not, excited it's, about it's it. Not, it's not the name of a, of a college, of a university, or anything like that. No. It sounds like or Marine Corps, <laughs> it's similar to me. And uh, don't let me forget, yeah. we, we had a, a nationwide search to find the right singer, because you, you gotta have the right singer. And I'm not going to talk about any other names, but we talked to a lot of different people and we tried out, uh, auditioned a handful of people. And we found this gentleman, his name is Daryl Beach. Yeah, and, and he, uh, landed, he landed the job. He got the gig, he, he was in a band called Salty Dog that was signed to Geffen. Uh, and he's playing uh, a bunch of other people's albums. And uh, I mean, he's an amazing singer. He's kind of a, a little less known than the, the three of us as far as, you know, some exactly. of the yeah, yeah. things, but that does not impede his talent or his, you know, his on stage uh, performance. Yeah, when it, come, when it comes to the band, the rest of the, the members are well known and well recognized and all that, except for Daryl. But Daryl, Salty Dog, wasn't that kind of famous, but he's a great singer, though. I mean, yeah, they don't I mean, he's, he, he has like an unbelievable range, you know. I mean, some singers can sing, you know, this range or mid range or only really high stuff. I mean, Daryl can cover the range. He can do stuff like Dio, he can do Rob Halford from Chris. Priest, uh, yeah, you know, he can do uh, Klaus Main from Scorpions or Ozzy, you know, not just with covers, but you know, in the originals that we're working on now. Right now, we wanted to get out there quicker, so we're just doing some really heavy classic, you know, super heavy metal, exactly. you know, classic covers, so we can just get out there and play yeah. and get the name and the buzz going. So far, so far yeah. they're doing like gigs locally and all that, but this, this will get expanded. Time progresses, you know, 
And if uh, anybody from overseas happen to be on the States and all that and want to attend one of the gigs, I'm always yeah. going to be posting like links that you can go on and see whatever's going on. Right, we're already uh, beefing up the business. We're talking some different agents and managers and promoters, uh, trying not to be, you know, some kind of local Florida band. You know, we want to be bigger. We we're, we're thinking bigger. We act bigger. You know, I'm, I'm not tooting the horn or anything, being egotistical. I'm just saying, you know, the uh, the plan, you know, the strategy really for, for this band is to try to get out there and, and play, you know, in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong. We, we can play anywhere. We, we we also got some offers to go to Texas, uh, Los Angeles, California. So, we, like I said, it's a new a new project. That's, that's new pretty band. good. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So we, we want to be bigger. You know, we've got a bunch of stage props. You know, stuff like that. The bottom line is, when, when you see us, we put on a show. We do not fool around. We go up there, they do, do some serious yeah, kick-ass metal. Sure. And, uh, and it's not about competition. It's about, no. you know, it's just about just like being being good, being good yourself. If you're going to step on stage, you want to give your best, you know. Performing. You know, performing. all, all performing. of us are performers. We're a very animated folks. We don't just stand around. You know, we, we when we get on stage, you know, you're going to go home with an experience. You know, that's what I'm saying. You could watch any one of us and have a great time at the show. Or you could sit back and just, sure. you know, watch like the whole the whole cinematic scope of the band and like, you know, I mean, it's very exciting. We try to be, we try to put, put on a show, which is the same kind of show that, that we would want to go see if we went to see I a band. Yeah, you put you know yourself know I mean? in the audience, that's the band yeah. that you want to see, you know, just like that. But anyways, that's just about everything is said, said and done. And Cheers, my brother. Cheers. And before we forget, um, you can go to YouTube and you just type in our name, United Metal Coalition. And a bunch of videos are coming up, and you could like, you can comment, you know, and, and spread the word. We have a, a Facebook page that started now as well. You can just gonna, go I was to talk to you about that as well, and then yeah. I forgot about it. Yeah, I gotta post that too. Right, it's important because these days you don't have record companies that are, you know, doing all the, re the promotion. It's self promotion, internet promotion, you you know, that yourself. kind of thing. You have to promote yourself. Mm -hmm. So we have a website. We got Facebook. You got YouTube, you know, people that have uh, seen some of the shows, they're posting live videos, which are pretty good. Yeah. You know, pretty we, good. we don't have a chance to review them afterwards. People just put them up there. But, you know, the, the sound quality is pretty decent. You can enjoy watching them. And eventually, yeah. eventually in the near future, they will come up with their own original material. Yeah, that's we're working on originals right now. That's, that's what I'm actually hoping for. You yeah, Dave Lentz has a studio uh, that, that we're working in, and we are, we are working on originals right now. And uh, we might have an EP, like a shorter, you know, we might put a, Great. an Great. EP out with just a few songs that just works. to get something going, that you know, work. to get people talking about it. You know, that, that's the idea at the beginning. Perfect. That's it, guys. All right. That Rock was uh, that was Dave Spitz, and then uh, it was a pleasure, brother, as usual. All right. All right, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. So we took this uh, little time just to, to yeah. talk about, you know, otherwise we forget about it and still drinking and eating and all that like we usually do. <laughs> yeah. Always having a good time. And he's the greatest musician you ever, ever come out to see. Thank you very much. I mean, not because of my friend or anything like that, but he's yeah. a great bassist. He is, he is. Well, like and my said, niece, Jennifer's the one filming. Yeah. And she saw the videos, huh, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Did you like them? Yep. Yeah, it's very interesting. YouTube, and then she actually enjoyed them all. So it's not, we're not saying because we want to feel anybody comfortable here, because what we're saying is just the truth. And the truth can be told, I guess. Right. Love y'all. Thank you. And see you on the road. It's a wrap.